word. Welcome to another episode of the B Side Word. I am Devin, your host. I'm here with my co-host Emma. Yo. And CJ. Yo yo. I gotta really work on that. It was a bit of a delay. I know. I'm sorry. Alcohol. I was trying to do T B S W. T B S W. I want to get straight into it. <laughs> Did you hear about um? The nude bathers rescued and fined a thousand dollars each. I did hear about that actually. Yes, I did hear about yes. that. I didn't know that they were fully nude. Well, actually, one man was nude and the other man didn't have many clothes on. But they said that they were had been swimming or something. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Were they just so it was nudists two, or? It was two men. Yeah, it was two men. Oh, I thought it was a male and female. Ah. Mm, uh. Uh, oh, let's let listen to the um, commissioner. Let's see what he says. Okay. Unbelievably, we saw two men sunbaking <laughs> naked on a beach on the south coast. They were startled by a deer, <laughs> ran into the National Forest, National Park and got lost. Not only did they require assistance from SES and police to rescue them, they also both received a ticket for $1,000. Now it's only a small percentage of the of the New South Wales people that are not following the health guidelines. I, but how I is he keeping you, a straight face? If you breach the health orders or the guidelines, you will be punished. Do you think he would? I just say from a law and order perspective. <laughs> when he said that, do you think he was? hundred percent. He wanted us to have a laugh no. about that little bit, he, or he was holding in the laughs himself. He was holding in the laughs. <laughs> he was holding in the laugh himself. I thought the health minister oh, so behind was, is that her name? Is that what she is? I think so. Um, was laughing behind her mask, but I'm not sure. But the way he said it was so nonchalant. <laughs> like, I mean, Commissioner Mick Fuller, I tip my hat to you because that I was know. a hell of a story to say. Yeah. That is so no, no, funny. No, no, so, see, I heard about this. I was driving home and you, you know the screens on the M4? Yeah. And they bring up the sign and it said, two people fine for nude sunbaking, right? What? They said Why it on the did- sign. <laughs> On the sign as I'm going past it, right? And I'm like, and I glanced at it and it was, I can't remember if it was a male or female reporter. So I obviously thought it was a, I thought it was a, a male and a female. Yeah. So I was like, what the hell is, I'm like, what idiots these two people are. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm hearing it for the first time, it's two males. What were they doing there? I think like they that got might lost be a, and then they decided. They could be partners. They decided. To, they that's right. Be. But they like, um. Did, he said they got lost at the national park and decided to sunbake nude. No, no they got they were, startled. They were sunbathing nude, yeah. and then they got startled oh, by a deer, a deer and ran into the national park. However, <laughs> one of them had his backpack on. Yeah. So, do you reckon he got startled and grabbed his backpack but not his clothes and then ran in to the? National yeah, it was park? just a reaction. Okay. Reaction. Okay, it was a deer. It was a deer. I, th- I thought. I thought they said that they got lost in the national park. And the police were startled. <laughs> I was on side, I'd be startled. We're startled by if the I was one of the police, I, 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 I would be startled too. <laughs> I'd be like, put your hands up. <laughs> or please put them back down. <laughs> <laughs> Just to give people context, um, the reason why they copped a thousand dollar fine was because of the COVID, breaking the COVID laws. Lockdown. The lockdown laws. Not the um not because they were nude, nude. Oh, yeah, running yeah. into the forest. Yeah, that's right. Because that's, that's right. not illegal. You can run in the state forest <laughs> nude, that's fine. Just not under Lockdown, lockdown restrictions. Yeah. Are you are you actually allowed to run in the state for a snoot? Um, um, maybe unless actually, you're maybe around I just, people. Maybe I just misinformed people. Maybe <laughs> you're not allowed to run nude. Um, because I was th- I was thinking there could be children there. Yeah. In the forest, possibly. Like, no, like with their parents going for like a you know bushwalk. Oh, one yeah, of those yeah. things, a bushwalk or a, um, what did I do? Those picnics. Yeah. <laughs> those things. And, and next thing, these two men are running across with their lethal weapons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, all right. I want... Let's let's watch this. Let's watch this. Um, share. Do you think this one's made up? Do oh, you, you believe it? in life after love? My boyfriend Can you just that, got disowned by his family because he yeah. wouldn't marry the woman they wanted him to. 
So he has to send all the family heirlooms back to the palace. That ring was a gift from his grandmother to give to someone he loves. Do you think these TikTok stories are just made up? Like people just make up a little yeah. thing and then act Possibly, out? possibly. Um, yeah. But how about this? So I just watched my boyfriend pack up his entire life for me and he's not even moving in. His family has disowned him and since they are the royal family of he has to pack up everything and send it back to them. I know it's just stuff, but it's also not just stuff. It's his family and his home and he shouldn't have to choose. And as flattered as I am, I feel like I've done something incredibly wrong. Does anyone have any ideas about how to fix this? What did people say? Do we know? No, I don't know. I don't know, actually. It just reminds me of coming to America. What do you mean? Well, because he wanted to be with the girl, but, you know, she wasn't a princess. Actually, you're right. It's actually the whole story. <laughs> yeah. Look, my, 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 my boyfriend's a prince. Oh, my gosh. Is, that... is he the Prince of Zamunda? Yeah. That... <laughs> and... Like is, we got is, is, is there a girl hopping a one foot back on like a dog? It could be Zabunda. Zabunda. <laughs> like uh, CJ said, it could be the that could be the name. But like I didn't the reason why it resonated with me is because of it was bloody coming to America. Coming to America. You're like I, I this I just I feel this story. I feel I understand this story. This needs a conclusion. <laughs> McDowell's has to be and part it, of it. It needs a part two. It needs a, but <laughs> Like a better part two, not like the horrible part two that we saw of Coming to America. I, have, I still haven't watched that. What's, what's that bad? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen I it. I don't. Either. I like some people liked it. I didn't. I mean, uh, the nostalgia of Coming to America one was too. It was. It, it, it was too much. That like anything that came after that would rule. It. You can't compare. You can't compare one and two. It didn't even complement two, because it was in a different era. It just didn't match. Like, yeah. It just didn't work. It just didn't work. That sucks. Do, do, didn't work. do you know what I've noticed? A lot of the comedies we liked when we were younger, in today's environment, just don't stand up to the test of time. Can I just say, so, so, CJ saying that, right? All right, so all the stuff that happened in the 1970s or the 1960s, the 19, whatever the culture was back then, we we don't understand as people of the people that grew up in the 1990s. We, we don't understand what happened in the 1970s, what happened in the 1960s, because there are all nuances within those cultures that only the people that grew up in that culture would understand. So for anyone to judge anyone that was living during that time, and don't get me wrong, like murder, the big obvious ones, uh, like it's obvious, no matter what era you're in, it's wrong, right? But there are certain nuances when it comes to dating, or comes to all the gray areas that I'm talking about in the 60s, 70s, and 80s and 90s that people that were born later will not understand. And it's hard to just judge. It's hard to judge people back then because you don't understand how it was, what the culture was like, what the what the feeling was like back then. Like, yeah. Anyways, what were you? I say? agree, hundred percent. No, I wasn't gonna say that. No, I 100% agree. You cannot judge. Today's generation cannot judge what the 90s were like and why people dressed the way they did. I'm not talking about the dressing. I'm just talking about how the attitude was. Yeah, and the attitude. And, and um, the comedy. The comedy was uh, it was more in your face. It was brash. It was, it was ugh, man, there's yeah. a lot of, they said a lot of things that you cringe now, but you go, well, back in the time. You don't understand the oppression that the um, certain people were going through. You don't understand the limitations that were put on them. You don't understand the uh, when they were the the sense of freedom all of a sudden that happened when the break those um, barriers came down. You don't understand what happened at Woodstock. You don't. You can read about what happened at Woodstock, but you don't actually know what it was like. And like after Vietnam, you don't know about the free love era. Like there's so many. You like you go, oh, how could you? How could you just like be a floozy? And you go. Well, you don't understand. Like, imagine the the era where the coke the coke breakthrough, like cocaine broke through. It's like this new drug where everyone's going, like everyone's like feeling like they're on top of the world. It's um, it's this new thing. It's it's just it's so hard to. I, I, I don't I don't think the new generation understand at the fact that the mistakes that were made in the past is the reason why we are where we are. 
Because if we didn't make those errors back then, we'd probably be making them now. Mm. And like the whole world's learned from them. Well, some, a, majority, some. a majority of the world has learned from them. Yeah, yeah. All right, so like in 20 years, when they are probably our age, they'll find the next generation will be even more critical of them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. A, 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 every gener- every like generation is getting more and more critical of the what, of what was before them. But I think it always has been. Yeah, yeah, it's always been like that. That's yeah. why it was easy. It's yeah. easy that way. It's easy after yeah. the fact mm. to criticize people. Yeah. Do you know what was yes. really interesting? I but wonder if I can find the photo. I, Sorry, CJ. You continue. That's all right. I was gonna say even that movie coming to America. Mm. How he had the servant girls that bathed him. Yeah. Took him to the bathroom. Like that would have. I'm not sure if that would fly today. It definitely won't. Like I was thinking of movies like Boom Boomerang. Yeah. Like Eddie Murphy when he was a play when he was a playboy, he broke up with a girl for her f- his f- her feet. Yeah. She had big feet yeah, or something. Yeah. No, nah, corns. Mate, mate. She had crooked feet or something. Oh, corns on her feet or something. People would have freaking lost their minds. I think are you serious? I think that's still relevant, right? The people still have feet fetishes. No. Nah, they'll be like, oh, he's so judgmental. He's, he's he's putting people with bad feet down. People with bad feet have feelings too. I mean, there's only fans for people that have corns. Yes, I know, but the people that are getting so worked up about it, I got nothing mm. to do with it. Yeah, because oh yeah, so for they're instance, getting, they're, they're, they're getting worked up about something that doesn't involve them, but they're they're insulted for a, yeah, another person. Yeah, we talked about that. That's probably we're not even insulted by it. There was this lady. Average? This lady. Um. She talked about she was she's Jamaican, right? And then she said mm. that um, this uh, is she making me horny. <laughs> she said she said that <laughs> if you're not Jamaican, please keep your comments to yourself because there was this um, there was this comment that said when white people do a Jamaican accent, it's um, uh, it's I don't know if it's racist or if it's um, uh, appropriation. Anyway, it was some sort of like saying that like some uh, someone else was saying that you can't do a Jamaican accent because it's you're putting that um, that um, culture down, whatever, right? And this Jamaican lady gets on, gets on, and says, and like, and she goes, "If you're not part, if you're not Jamaican, please don't say that it. We're unhappy with people doing a Jamaican accent because in Jamaica, there's Asians, there's whites." There's uh, Indians, there's uh, all different races in Jamaica, and they all speak Patois. Yeah. Is it Patois? Patois, yeah. Patois, with the Jamaican accent, with the thing. He goes, it's not racist. There are people that speak exactly like... Yeah. I was going to say, when you're singing along to Sean Paul, don't you copy the accent a little bit as you're singing? I don't really care what people say. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's a very oh, bad. Like a, that's that's sounded little, not Jamaican. That's not Jamaican. <laughs> you sounded. Um, you sound like a Maltese guy trying to speak, trying to sing a short Middle song. Eastern, Middle Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a Maltese guy singing Sean Paul's. <laughs> All right. What's his name? Not but Sean like, Paul, is it? V- Sean Paul. V- v- yeah. v- v- Sean Paul. V- that's me trying to do like um, sing like Sean Paul, who's Jamaican, I think. Yeah, is, isn't is he? he Jamaican? Is yeah. Sean Paul Jamaican? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so like, is he? Uh, I'll be, I'll be singing along to it. Mm. Yeah, I think he's Jamaican. Mm. So, so does that mean yeah. I'm, I'm being racist because I'm a fan <laughs> of his music? No, but that's what the Jamaican lady's saying. She goes, "Please don't stand up or speak for Jamaican people when that's not how we think." And that's exactly what yeah. you, what you're saying. Is exactly, exactly what she was saying. It's only one Jamaican, maybe. My other friend's Jamaican dad people. is a white Jamaican. Yeah, full accent, everything. It's crazy. I like seeing that cool. stuff. I love seeing. Is it, is it, my my thing is the Scottish the Scottish accent when I see like a, a an Oriental, right? Because in, <laughs> in in England they're called Orientals. Yeah, this they're not is called true. Asian. They're called Orientals. That's true. Asian. Dude, it- if in I England said is... if I said Oriental, I yeah. feel like I'm being um a little bit, you know. Bro, when I heard it the first time, when I went to England and they said, "Oh, you're Oriental," I go, "Fuck, what do you mean?" <laughs> I go, "You're Oriental," <laughs> and we call it Oriental you're... food. Yeah, and I was like, "Yeah, what? <laughs> nobody calls me Oriental. <laughs> unless, nobody. Unless, yeah, that Oriental can." <laughs> yeah, and it's Oriental food, and Asian people are Indian and. Like Pakistani, yeah, they're a- like in- Indian, Pakistanis, and Sri Lankans, I guess. All of- yeah. they're, they're Asian people. They're considered Asian people. Yeah. And then the Chinese, Japanese, all of them are considered Orientals in the yeah. UK, which is 
which is crazy. Yeah. When I first heard that, yeah, I was that, like, that would be. You yeah, know what? How I found I, I, out. You know how I found out. There was a group of like um, uh, Japanese exchange students walked past, and then someone said, "Oh, look, a group of Orientals." I said, "What?" <laughs> I said, "What?" <laughs> I beg your pardon. We say, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to step outside? <laughs> we're outside already. You want to step inside? <laughs> Let's what, make it more what, dramatic. We'll start some comfort if fighting. Say, oh, you're Oriental. I don't here. know. I don't know because it's not like it's not. I don't I've, know. It's not just England. I think that's also the case for. I'm sure I've heard it in another country as well. Say the same thing. Mm. No, I have. I believe. You. I just don't know where. Um, I want to tie this in the whole generational thing to something relevant today in COVID. I've sent a um, message through WhatsApp. Mm. And what it is, is a picture from the 1900s, mm. actual 1900s, mm-hmm. of a group of men and women wearing masks. Yeah. Right? Wearing face masks. And the caption with it, <coughs> it's a little bit long. Mm. Just bear with me. So it says, you were born in the year 1900. You're 14 years old when World War One begins and 18 years old when it ends. Result, 22 million dead. Soon after a global pandemic, the Spanish flu will emerge. 50 million people die. Wow. Fortunately, you're still alive. Now you're 20 years old. When you're 29, you'll survive the global economic crisis that started with the breakdown of New York, the New York Stock Exchange. This led to inflation, unemployment, and fanim, fanim, <laughs> famine worldwide. Meanwhile... You're 33 years old. The Nazis will come to power in Germany. Since you're 39 years old, Germany invades... I think it's just language translation. Mm. Let's say now you're 39 years old. Germany invades Poland and begins World War II. Oh my gosh, so much already. Now you're, you're finally 45 years old when World War II ends. Result, 60 million dead. 6 million Jews die in the Holocaust. Luckily, you're still alive. Now you're 52 years old. The Korean War begins. Now you're 64 years old. Americans start winning the war in Vietnam. You're 75 when the war ends. Luckily, you're still alive. Now, a boy born in 1980 believes his grandparents have no idea about how difficult life is. (laughs) But they survived several wars and disasters, not to mention the restrictions during the first oil crisis in the early 1980s. Today, we live in a new world full of comfort, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, in the midst of a new pandemic, people complain about staying home for weeks while they have power, cell phones, food, hot water, and a safe roof over their heads. None of that existed in previous times, but humanity survived these circumstances and they never lost their joy of life. Today, we complain because we have to wear a face mask to enter the supermarkets. A small change in our mind and mentality can work miracles. Like, isn't that so true? You don't think about... I mean, 1900, yes, it was a long time ago, but it wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago, no. And what our grandparents and stuff have gone through. Mm. And it's so right. Like people are like, two weeks, I've got to stay inside for two weeks. You know, one of my uh, most, one of my favorite basketballers of all time, I like one of them Mm -hmm. is um, Scottie Pippen. We were just talking about Scott the other week. Yep. Um, he came. He had an interview, and he had a he had an interview. A written. He had an article written about him about his interview, and then he went on this podcast or show on the on the internet, and he started uh, bad mouthing a lot of people. What's going on with him? He started bad mouthing a lot of people, and um, not a lot of people, a, a certain somebody. Was it just um, was it just his coach, or was it like was he bad mathing uh, Michael Jordan as well? Um, from what I heard, he was saying that the um, you know documentary, yeah, that's that was of jo- Jordan's perspective. Yes, yeah, right. Um, that's not how it wasn't was. Wasn't of theirs. Yeah, yeah, it's not how it was. So. Like I said, I um I've only known Pippen as a as a humble guy. I've mm-hmm. known him as a, a what what I see on on the internet, like what I see him on the when he's over broadcasting or wearing it. He seems to be professional all the way through, right? Mm-hmm. But he has just let loose 
on Phil Jackson and the way that he's been depicted and stuff and mm-hmm. he's had enough. And it made me think, it made me think, someone that is as humble as Pippen, like when's enough's enough? When was his breaking point where he's like, F this, F this, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I've been humble for so long, I've kept my mouth shut, I've played the role perfectly, enough's enough, I want, I want, to, I want people to uh, hear my side of the story. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 and I think it does get lost that no Pippen is no Jordan, no championship, period. Mm-hmm. No Pippen, yeah. no Jordan, no championship. Mm-hmm. So, Jordan's the best player that ever played because he's teamed up with Scotty Pippen. Yes. Yeah. So my thing is... But I think everybody knows that. I just think he wants it to be... He, I, he wants people to give him more recognition. Yeah. So, because th- there seems to be a lot of like resentment and frustration and a lot of anger built up and stuff. Mm. But then he just... He said that in his... um interview he said that phil jackson was a racist i heard phil jackson was it's, a pothead it's hard for us to comment but i don't think so yeah, wasn't he he used, he used to burn like incense around the place no he <laughs> it, it, that it wasn't it was in relation to the um native americans what the native Indians. He was wasn't he drawing inspiration from them? That's not the. That's and he not used the to burn the. No, no. Pippen was talking about like when Jordan left. He said that um, Tony Kukoc um, came on the team, and there was a specific game where Pippen. There was a play drawn up for Tony Kukoc, instead of for Pippen. Yeah, we were, we saw that one on the last dance. Yes, and Pippen. Yeah. Pippen. Wa- Pippen didn't go on the court. Mm-hmm. And he just like he 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 stayed on the bench for that last play. Yeah. Tony Tony scored it, and Pippen goes, "That was the right play." But like he goes, "Why, the the person that was the 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 player, why didn't he get the chance to take the shot?" Because when you're Maybe a coach, you, a- you have to make these hard decisions because you're looking, yeah. going, "What do I need to do?" Right. So Scotty he took it personally. Yes, because he said personal. he said that he he said that um, Jordan, if Jordan wasn't there, who would take the shot? Pippen would. Yeah. If it but, was, but if, maybe, if Phil thought it was the right thing to do, but if not, it not. Yeah. yeah. Like maybe someone was defending him very, very well, or was being double teamed, and the smarter shot is to get it to Kukoc. Kukoc. It's just like Ben Simmons the other day. He kept going on, off, on, off, on, off because he they he ne- they needed him on on defense, and then they take him off offense. Yeah. So, like, it's personal, but it's not right. like the coach is the coach is just doing what a coach needs to do to win. <sighs> like, like if I was the coach and I've noticed one of my players has been double teamed, mm. or got a very good defender on him, and I can get someone a, a better shot. An easier shot. I'll get to get an easier shot. Right. So we're talking. Care. We're talking about. My it. job is to win games. We're talking about it from the coach's perspective, right? Now, yeah. can we see it from the from Pippin's perspective? If you were the guy that grinded it out and did the three peat, if you were the guy that um, was always relied on when the chips were down, right? Why would you get a rookie to take the final shot to win the game? Why would you get Tony Kukoc, a rookie on the team at that time, and Pippen, an uh, 11-year veteran or 10-year veteran, or how long ever he's been on there, a guy that's been in those positions a thousand times. Why would you get Tony Kukoc, a rookie, to take the shot and not you? Okay. If I you, don't know the stats. Was was Kukoc's stats better at that time for that particular no, shot? No, or was Pippen. He better we're at... talking about from Pippen's perspective. Oh, no, you're in Pippen's perspective. You're on the bench and they've made a play. Not for you. You being the go-to man all this time. You'd you are pissed. the man now. Jordan's gone. <laughs> you are the man. This is your time to shine. You are the man. You've got to get it in your head. You are the man. Right? This is your time to shine. Why would Phil Jackson make a play for a rookie t- Tony Kukoc instead of a veteran Scotty Pippen in his prime? Yeah, 100%. You'd be so mad. I would be furious. But that's from yeah, the player's perspective. Doesn't mean he's a racist. As I said, it could be a defensive reason. 
Yeah, but again, but CJ, many reasons. I'm saying get into Pippin's head. Yeah. You're not getting in Pippin's head. You're, you're seeing it objectively. Curative. You got to, You're sitting on the bench. You're looking at Phil and he's not giving you the ball. You've been doing it for years. I'm telling you now. I'm going, I'm looking at you and I go, nah, I'm going to go with someone else. How are you feeling? That's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get you to understand. I want you to give me. I if you're be, in I, I, head. I, I wouldn't be happy about. I wouldn't be like, oh, he's racist for it. Hmm. I'd be like, fuck, it could be a better play. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be happy that he went past me to go to another player. All right. If not racism, what would you think? Would you start thinking you're not the player you are then? Yeah, I, I wouldn't even think that. I think maybe it's an easier option. Maybe I'm being defended heavily and we can get him by himself. Mm. I, I still don't think you're uh, encapsulating Pippen's mindset. I feel still feel like you're yeah, seeing it objectively. Course, okay, when, jo when Jordan played with the Bulls, mm. I remember Steve Kerr took a few so last shots. So he, he talked about Pax, that. Pax, Paxton took a few last yeah, shots. Yeah, yeah, he talked about that. He a said... End of the day... It, the coach's job is not to freaking cater to your feelings. Mm. It's to win win games. He's judged on wins and losses. Yeah. Right? He's not judged if he breaks your heart or hurts your feelings. It's like it's so, that's the business. So he Jordan, gets judged on so wins Jordan, and losses. Uh, so Pippen um started uh commenting on that because everyone brings up the same example. Every single person brings up that same example. And he said that when Jordan was doing that, it was rehearsed because at the same time, Jordan was making videos on um, Air Jordan, um, the air up there, all them kind of stuff. And all the people that were in the huddle, the cameramen that were in huddle were owned by Jordan, right? So he was saying that all those things that he was doing in the huddle, they weren't the actual plays that were happening that Phil Jackson were making. That was, that was uh, deliberately made and like rehearsed for the doc docos so the actual play was for jordan for jordan to do like the jord like the the paxton whatever is a secondary thing or steve kerr would be in a secondary play but the actual play was different that's what pippen was saying when it was okay. in the huddle so whatever you see oh. in the on the cameras was for a documentary that was uh happening okay so they, they read up a play for jordan and they needed a plan B. I don't know if that and, was a plan, but this is what Pippin's saying. This is not me. Uh, it's uh, like I'm just quoting what, uh, not even quoting, like I'm quoting loosely what um, Pippin was saying. And like, I look, I get it. I get, I get where Pippin's coming from. His fresh energy is coming from because being in the shadow for all these years and people really not understanding. Without Pippin, there is no championship. And like, I think the true fans will understand that without Pippen, there is no championship. But like, yeah. if you hear Jordan, 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 you're going to start, uh, like it's taken him a while before he's been like, he goes, come on, man. <laughs> I'm Pippen. It should be Pippen. Pippen, Jordan. Pippen, Jordan. It's Jordan, always Pippen. the way. You're always, there's always, always eras where you're playing with the greatest and you're playing this and that and you're just as good if not better sometimes but there's something about that person they have the x factor whatever it is mm. and you're just going to be in the shadows i mean it, it's just exactly the same as bottas with lewis hamilton oh, he, that's what i'm but saying i don't think bottas is as good as lewis but in his mind he's like why not i'm better I, than yeah. him yeah even even robin and batman there's all these. There's always a sidekick. Like Pippin is for me. Pippin is always gonna be known as the sidekick. He's never gonna be the man, is he? He's always gonna be like Jordan is no. the guy and Pippin is the sidekick, and that's frustrating because in his own right, he was the man. Mm. Like it was like a two spear, uh, a two headed spear. Mm. It was like. But in the same breath, I feel like, and I definitely, I just believe in the fact that you shouldn't toot your own horn and. But he never. Just but he is now, and I think that that's ruining it. But who cares? No one's going to know like anyway. You can't force it down people's throat. I was the best. I you, like it's not for you to force down people's throat. I guess throat. It's not, like, yeah, it's the not opinion humble. of others is, not... is opinion of others. You can't just you can't force down that. You can't force that opinion down. Like I decided to while you guys were talking, look at Tony Kukoc's career. Yeah. Right. 
yes, he was a rookie mm. in the NBA. Yes. But he wasn't a rookie. rookie. No. He I, wasn't a rookie. Yeah. Okay. He had experience yeah. in Europe. Yeah. Where he where Tony was the man. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. He was the man in Europe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't like he was giving it to an 18 year old Kobe Bryant to take the shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And not him. He was giving it to a, like an MV, like a player that's done a lot of good things in Europe. Mm. Yeah. That, that, that also has experience. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. when you say rookie, you think of the 18, 19 year old. Right, it wasn't that. It wasn't that kid. It was a yeah, 24, but 25 year old. Europe at that time wasn't the same as NBA at that time, was it? Uh, no, but there was still pockets of good players. Coming I through. didn't say that. I didn't say that. But like the experience that you have in Europe, like Sto- Stojakovic, Lottie D- Divac, hey, Tony you, Kukoc. Look, look, whether whether your what your facts are saying, it's totally true. Tony Kukoc was the man in Europe, hundred percent. What you're saying is 100%. What I'm trying to get in your head, uh, CJ, is to understand it from Pippen's point of view. Okay. End of the day, Pippen was never the man. Do you know why? Why? Because he, he didn't take the last shot. Mm. If they had read up a play for Kobe mm. or Jordan, as for someone else, do you think they would have cared what the coach said? They would have still took the last shot. What, say that again. He's saying the others would have taken it. it. Yeah. Oh, if, yeah. if they, if Pippen, it, oh, right, right, right. Oh, it, it, if, if Phil Jackson rid up a play for freaking Paul Gasol to take the last shot and the Lakers are down by one, if Kobe touches that ball, he's taking it. Yeah. Yeah. That's who he is. Yeah. That's who Jordan was. Scotty wasn't that guy. Yeah. As much as a fantastic player as Scotty was, yeah, like a, he's probably in the top five players ever played a game. Really, top five? Yeah. Go, yeah. Uh, can I just give you a brief? I re- can I, re- I ask re- you a brief I reckon, question? I reckon CJ? in that era, yeah. Can the I best ask you a brief question? Play in that era, brief. Can I ask you a brief team. question? A little question. What? If I don't stop him, he'll keep talking. If look, if yeah. um, in during Miami where Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh and LeBron were there, who was Batman and who was Robin? Well. The best player was LeBron. Not at that time. But he was Robin. (laughs) Not at that time he wasn't the best player. No, the winner was Wade. Yeah, Dwayne Wade. He was the he was yeah. super, uh, he was Superman he was Batman. Yeah, yeah. While LeBron hadn't, he was a better player all round as a better player. Yeah, like he just didn't have that instinct, the killer instinct. Like Wade, like Wade will go after it. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. I was interested to see like, what you what you thought about that because, like yeah, this like, this uh, dynamic of is, uh, Batman like, and Robin is like there's it happens all the time, and I wonder how yeah, Robin deals like, with um, it. Oh, like Scotty Scotty Pepin, I think was probably the second best player in the NBA during that period. Yeah, that's that's not that's not um that's not shocking. And I think a lot of people up, think that he was he was paired up with the best player. Yeah, I wonder so, if there's Robin syndrome. You know, Batman and Robin. Like, yeah. I wonder if there's a Batman Robin syndrome. And I wonder how many Robins. Like, uh, imagine Paul Paul Gasol. What? Pau Pau Gasol teamed up with Kobe. Yeah. But, but the same thing, mate. You're playing with that time's best player. Yeah. Like, I think I heard Ron Artest have a discussion about how in Houston he was scoring something like 22 points a game. Paul Gasol? Uh, um, no, Ron Artest. Oh, Ron Artest. Yeah, yeah. Metal World Peace. Yeah. And then when he moved to the Lakers, he was scoring like six or eight. Yeah, because Kobe was the man, wasn't he? Right. Yeah, and he goes, and people were saying, "Oh, I'm not as good. I, I've I've digressed because I hadn't digressed. Because the problem was this: Kobe was the man. Yeah, first of all, so he gets the play. Mm. You have Pau Gasol, Andrew Bynum. <laughs> They're two fantastic players as well. Yeah, and then you have Lamar Odom. Yeah, he goes, 
Where do you expect me to get the shots? Yeah. I'm interested in this Batman and Robin dynamic in the NBA. And, and I, I wonder and how plus, many Robins, it's, 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 Robins it's, it's, actually go off so, or lose it at the um at Batman at the end of it. Like they, they have the respect of the time, but then... But then over time, it just gets to him. Like exactly. staying humble is a hell of a thing to do. Consistently staying humble. Keep, consistently keeping your mouth shut when the opinions of other people are just like, it's overwhelming. And I wonder at what point do you just go, fuck this. I am, I am as good as Batman. It's, the, it's when, you're a, when you're a celebrity, when you're like a, uh, an A-star player and you've made it to that level it's your ego that has got you there partially. So that can't just be um, squashed down no. and forgotten about. Like it will rear its head at some point. Yeah. Like the old, Lag- old Lakers teams or Boston teams would be Larry Bird, Ma- uh, Magic Johnson. Yeah. They're Batman. Who's the Robins? What I'm trying to get at, Siege, like you, you name all the Batmans, which is cool. The Robins are necessary for Batman to succeed. Yes, and it sucks that some, it sucks that the Robins don't get the same appreciation and notor- notoriety with the Batmans because without them, they don't exist. I don't know how many times Robin in the comics have say has saved Batman from death. Mm-hmm. These are the things that people don't like, and I understand it. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get it on Pippin's perspective. That I think he's just saying stuff to get attention yep. because he hasn't got the respect, yep. and he hasn't. It's pure frustration, it's frustration saying that that Jordan. Everyone notes um, says that Jordan is the man, and it's like without Pippen, there there was no championships. But period. Again, yeah. coming back to the fact that Jordan said himself, there would be no Jordan without Pippen. He says it himself. I know it's not that he. I don't think Pippen cares about what. I think, uh, and it's hard. Like we said, you can't just force people to have the opinion like, I was good too. I was good too. Because then it just loses its effect. Yeah. And like, it's, it's, it's in his head. It's like, man, I worked as hard as everyone. I hustled. I did so much thing. And why didn't people notice? But everyone my... knows his name. Everyone, even if they aren't NBA people, they know his name. Mm. It's not like they don't know his name. They know his name. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's usually the guy that holds the trophy at the end. Let's remember it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Steve Kerr. <laughs> like, like when the when the when the Lakers won the championship. Yeah. Everyone remembers Kobe standing on the table, spreading his arms apart. Not the fact that Gasol had a huge game, run our test, hit some some very important shots. They remember so, wait, 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 Kobe was standing Shaq, on the announce table. Was Shaq Robin? Out. Are you saying Shaq was Robin? No, no, Kobe used to be a Robin. When Shaq, Shaq, was Shaq, Batman. Shaq was Batman and then it changed. Yeah. Yeah. Shaq was Batman. And then Robin got and then Robin goes, Do you know what? It's my turn. I'm a better Batman. Right. Right, right, right. Well, Scotty never got that chance. No, that's what I'm saying. He never got that chance. He never got it. To be to become Batman. Yeah. Mm. But he had, he had a period there's a period of time when Jordan was retired where he could have became Batman. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about instead of giving him the shot to become Batman, he never got given the shots to become Batman. But that's my yeah, point. That's my think, whole point. Do, do you think Bat- Batman waits for you to give him the shot or Batman just takes it? That's another question. That's a good question. Because as I said, if they would have read up a play for Paul Gasol to take the last shot. Guess who's taken it? Kobe would have. Kobe's taken that shot. Yeah. Unless he's being double teamed, then he's gonna pass the ball as well. Yeah. All right, but if he if he thinks he can hit the shot, he's taking it. Tell us what you think. He doesn't care. Tell us what you think, family, family friend. Yeah. What does B What does B and T stand for? Black Entertainment. I don't know what the T is. What's the T there for you? Tonight. Ten- I don't no. know. <laughs> <laughs> is it tonight? I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I was going to say thank you for telling me the part that I had worked out uh. <laughs> uh. yeah I don't know I was hoping for I was hoping for a little bit more television it's really television <laughs> oh, is it television yeah <laughs> um, uh. no just with the BET I just I, I, I did I'm annoyed this okay right this first of all a frustration in the fact that we live in Australia we can't view these things Unless 
you have, yes, CJ? Foxtel. Is it on Foxtel? Yeah. Oh, I might have to watch it on your thingy. Oh, anyway, I you said you wanted to get it. another subscription. I didn't get to watch it, no. And so I Googled. <laughs> I just Googled. I was, number one, interested to see in who was on the red carpet and mm. what they were wearing. And I was going through a gallery. And when I was going through this gallery, I was like, I don't know that person. I don't know that person. I don't know that person. Mm. <laughs> what the hell? Who am I? So I wrote down their names. Yes, CJ. I always Google because the only thing that I want to see is the performances. Besides that, I couldn't care less. I want I want to see the performances too, and I only just saw the Bruno the uh, Silk Sonic performance, mm. which was good. I liked that. That so was so the good. The BET the BET have other uh, all artists on there. Huh? What do you mean at the mm? BET? No, I think it's black and. What do you mean BET? Yeah, but Bruno's not black. But, but the other guy is. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's, it's actually no because that Jack Harlow was there, so I think it's um just um, the genre, the genre. The genre is yeah. there. Okay. Um. So, a couple of people that I didn't recognise, and I wondered if you guys knew, and I had a quick look at some of them, and my computer has gone down unfortunately. There's the baby. Yeah. I think he won, and I've lost my notes, but I think he won best male rapper, maybe. Yeah. I was I've like, who the hell is that? Out. Yeah. <laughs> and then I saw... I've seen, it, I've seen him on Wild and Out and that's it. Well, there was another Never one with the word baby in the name as well. Yeah. So there was Da Baby was little and baby? Li- Little Baby. <laughs> right. I was like, what the hell were these little babies? And then there was Sweetie. And I was like, who is she? Anyway, I've since <laughs> found out. I do know these people, but I just didn't know them by name. Yeah. Yes. Isn't Sweetie Quavo's girlfriend? Used to be. Used to be. They're exes now. Okay. Quavo from Migos. Yeah. Um, so I had a look and then it, it brought me to the Jack Harlow uh, passing by, or not not passing by, but interaction with Saweetie. Yeah. Because you told me to look at it. And yeah. did you see that? So she was just about to start an interview and he comes up to me and goes, hi, I'm Jack. And she goes, I know. <laughs> and I think he, it caught him off guard. Yeah. But she seemed nervous too, by the way. And then I guess he goes to her, I'm just you know, introducing myself or whatever. And then she goes, are you shaking? He's like, me? And he's like, nobody's shaking here. And then she turned to the, and then he walks, he's like, just saying, but like, and then she turns to the interview and goes, don't make that into something. (laughs) Of course it was like, became something. Anyway, she was the girl that sung that tap, 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 that. Yeah. You know that song? Yeah. But she's got quite a few songs. And I was like, who's Jack Harlow? So I looked up him and he's got, Songs that I know as well that I just didn't realize I knew the the is it pop, what's popping? Um, there's the other one Terry. What's it? No, what's it? What's it called? Tyler Hero Hero Tyler Hero. Is he a YouTuber? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's like oh I know that I know that. Anyway, um, a little fun fact about Sweetie which you might not have known because I watched an interview on her. I don't even know who Sweetie is. Anyways, go. She's the one that sings that song. Yeah, I know, but I still don't know who she is. Oh, okay. She is Huffalo. Oh, I know who she is. She's my cousin. Because <laughs> her fan girls call her Ate Icy because really? her first single was Icy. Yeah. Because oh. I only I only came okay. up because they said she was on um, Complex and you know they do the who's your who's the goat of this 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 whatever, and it was what's the uh, what's the goat of like food and she was like. Uh, fish synagogue <laughs> and i was like what <laughs> wow yeah and i, I was like following her now <laughs> i know so i was like wait what so i had a look and yeah her dad's black and her mum is philo well half philo half chinese but i guess she grew up with philo yeah. so you're gonna support a quarter of her what the hell is my laptop doing it's uh someone's uh someone's hacking into your it's, legit it's aliens um what do you think of um silk sonic Loved it. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I, I, lo- I like Anderson Pack and I like Bruno, Bruno Mars. Mars. Anderson Pack so is, like, is a smooth character, man. He is so a smooth. Yeah. Same with um. Yeah. I, I, I'd like to get to the point where, like, no matter if I spoke fast or slow, 
but I just want to gain the attention of people whenever I talk. There's some people that are command attention. Command as soon as they talk. attention. So like Bruno Mars, when I, I just remember this um, when he was doing uh, car karaoke with um, what's that dude? That, um, uh, James Corden. James, uh, yeah. James, is James yeah, Corden? Yeah. And um, Bruno. Yeah, James Corden. Bruno would be like, "Are you wearing silk, Bruno?" Uh, like uh, James goes, "Are you wearing silk?" And he goes, "I am." Feel this, feel this, James. Feel this. Why don't you want this wrapped around your body? You're like, feel this, James. Feel this. And like, I, like I was listening to, it, I was like, I want to feel it. Bruno, send me some. I want to feel it. I want it around my body. I want silk. Give me some oh, silk, Bruno. Goodness, goodness. You know what goodness. I mean? He makes yeah, you br- feel. You just want to pay attention to him. He hasn't yeah. said anything interesting. He's just. But that's like, like a charmer. That's like a charmer. You reckon, like, all right, so a charmer, when you meet a charmer, anyways, when you meet a charmer, it's cool, right? Yeah. But I couldn't imagine, ha- I couldn't imagine, like, having breakfast, like, let's say they're having breakfast, right? And they go, Dev, do you want this crispy toast? I think the thing with like, it. shut up, Bruno. But I think just give the, me the toast. I think it's the enough. thing with a charmer is they have that half smile. It's the like cheeky. a half. It's the, like you a don't half know what they're sm- talking about. Yeah, it's yeah. not a smirk because no. that's creepy. It's a smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to work on that. What are you doing? <laughs> you look like you got a I fish hook. To, you got I a tried, fish hook in your mouth. I tried to do a half smile. <laughs> like, I cannot control that. You just reminded look CJ, me. Look at CJ. CJ, stop. Stop. Did you you look like the, the Joker. Stop. Did you see the the hula girl? No. So oh. she she drew a, a picture of a uh, no a belly dancer and then the arms go above the eyebrows and the head and then the waist and whatever onto her nose yeah. and she like does a full on dance. <laughs> <laughs> with the arms going like this, with her, it's so funny. Uh, you, you know what I what, what I was also thinking of the Bruno song mm. during his performance. A lot of the ladies had beautiful eyes, yeah. nice eyebrows. Yeah. Do you reckon because they're wearing masks, they're like they had this part done up to the max? Yeah. And then this part here just bugger it. <laughs> <laughs> a few whiskers, no lipstick. Did <laughs> uh, they have a goatee, the goatee going on? What's a goldie? A goatee. Oh. <laughs> like, because like, so, I, I was looking at a few of the girls like, damn. Damn. And I'm thinking like, eh. Damn. And I'm thinking, do you reckon, um, you know, the top would match the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> like here, they're super sexy. And then here, they're like, hell no. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Are you finished with the BET Awards? Yeah. So anyway, I was interested in the fact that Jack Harlow, you wouldn't, I like, he's a good rapper and he's maybe the next white big rapper. I don't know. But he's pretty good. Uh, the reason why I like that, Ooh. I like that is because he took is his that shot. his name? Jack Harlow? I, I love yeah. that he took his shot. I, I love you. people that take their shot. Like it's... It's they don't care about stereotypes. They don't care about any of that stuff. It's like I think you're gorgeous. I'm gonna take my shot. Yeah. You know what I mean? It reminds me of uh, Hamilton. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take my shot. What is that? Yes. Yeah. Not, not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away, away my, my shot. Shot. D- did you see the little Nas? Was it little Nas? Mm, X. Little. Little Nas X. What's his name? Little. Little Nas, Nas X. X. Yeah, yeah. With his dress. Uh, oh, he had two did you outfit changes. Was it any good? Oh, I the didn't. Whole, the whole feral thing? No. I'm going to have to watch it. Don't tell me. No, tell him. Tell okay. him. What happened? Oh, okay, tell me. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't very COVID safe. Oh, was there a lot of groping? Yeah. They probably all got um, tested prior. They have the rapid testing over there. I don't didn't, know. didn't he kiss on stage? Uh, Did he kiss on stage? Yes. Yeah. He kissed one of his oh, dancers on stage. Right. Yeah. That's what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, like I was thinking, like during COVID, is that really the time to be doing? You know it? what? Probably I don't. Not. Every, everyone's wearing everyone's wearing masks. You know, <laughs> like Br- Bruno's song, they were apart. Yeah. You know, from everyone else, and everybody in the crowd had masks yeah. on. And then this blog is just fucking p- passion on stage. Yeah, it's probably not C nineteen safe. No, it's probably not C nineteen safe. And then I was thinking. Do you reckon it would have been rehearsed prior? Yeah. Because yeah. if, if, I, if I was the dancer, 
That would have shocked the <laughs> shit out yeah. of me. <laughs> no, it's definitely rehearsed. They definitely said something. It's definitely rehearsed. Yeah, I, I was going to be saying like, hey. Hey, bud. You know, hey, bud. Hey, we're mates. You we're ask, mates. I get it. We're mates. Ask, we're, ask we're drinking. Mate, we're huh? drinking afterwards. We're mates. We're not, you know, we're not like that, though. <laughs> you have to make sure, you know, the person approves of the kiss. All right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was, I, was, I was watching it, and like an old man, I was thinking, hmm, I'm on lockdown right now. I can't leave the house without a mask. And here's this little shit passion on stage. <laughs> so, so I just, well, this is the last thing. Okay. Uh, Steve, Steve O from Jackass. Do you remember Jackass? Yeah. Steve O is the guy with yeah. the glasses. Do you, do you remember? Do you know no. this guy? No, is it, isn't he the guy that stapled his nuts to his leg? Oh my gosh, he did not. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's Steve O. He he has just in line mainline ten of millions of sales through an IV because he has a back problem a neck problem. What did you say? Mainline. Mainline um, stem cell stem cell mm-hmm. to oh. to redo his um to fix his neck because yeah it I, through, I heard that's good yeah but it's illegal in America. What so is? he had to go to Mexico. Yeah, it's, it's What's illegal? No, stem. They used to go to Colombia. Oh, Colombia. Oh, he went some. I think where I don't know where he went. What's illegal? Stem cell. Stem cells. It's st- stem c- having having stem cells ejected into your body is illegal it's in America. Illegal. In some injected states. Injected into yeah. your body. Yeah, he mainlined. Yeah. Look, see this. So, so, yeah. so what they do? They go to Colombia, and they get stem cells injected. Right. Kobe did it for his knees. A lot of players Why do it. Why is it illegal? In it helps America? like we play. It oh, helps I'm reduce fully aware inflammation the, the, and help cartilage regenerate. Definitely aware of the benefits. We actually have our son's stem cells that we got when I gave yeah, birth. So you can, and we pay an annual fee to keep those stored because the health benefits are in... I mean, that could help in, for cancer. It could help for diabetes. It could help yeah. for so many things. I'm just flabbergasted as to why it's illegal there. That's strange. I think um, there's something to do with the... Oh, I forget. I don't know if it's something to do with the birth. Anyways, it's some, it's some. No, I've, there's, the stem cells are taken off the umbilical cord, aren't they? They're the. Yeah. It's it, not only, but they're the best type because they're the the purest Don't and freshest and newest. Can't yeah. they get it from the back of your? Yeah, the you back can... of your spine. Yeah, but but I heard the ones the best ones are from the. Umbilical yeah, cord. they're the best ones. Yeah, I mean, but like, like where's your one? Hmm? Where's your umbilical cord? No, no. When a baby's born, yeah. the best stem cells are from the umbilical cord. Oh, yeah. is it from any? I Sorry. thought you had to get it from your own, um, your no, own stem no, cells. No, no, you can use it's any. Your stem cells. You can use any. They're ejecting. The reason they're ejecting, like you know, the stem cells that Emma's got in storage. Yeah, someone else can, they can use it. They can inject that into right. me. They could, but we have it for private. So we pay, and that's so. Oh if, wait, so what are you? What are you saying? You're not going to give me any stem cells. So mm. if we decided to, we could <laughs> donate those to a stem cell bank, and they could be used for other people. Yeah. But we we got it because. It's yeah. it's if you can use your own or someone that is a match to your family, mm. the chance of like you get the best benefit out of it. They say so. We had them because we could yeah. use them for him or other like his brothers or whatever. Yeah. But if you didn't have them, you could use go to a stem cell bank and use other right. stem cells. Right. Yeah. So, but are there, are there like levels of stem cells? And there's like a, st- a golden. Oh, I don't well, know. That would, that adapts I don't know about to anything anybody. About stem cells. I think the one of the umbilical cord could adapt to any type of body. Most likely. Right. But there's a certain there's a certain stem cell that does go across yeah. the different types. They reckon that I think. we got ours done like seven years ago and they reckon, and it was still, and it fairly is still quite, it's not that common to to have that done. Yeah. But they reckon it will become commonplace. Um, I'm surprised you didn't do World War Three. We did it with Nate after Deb got cancer. Yeah. Because I was pregnant okay. with Nate when he was going through chemo. Yeah. And that sort of um, triggered. triggered us into going, ooh. Into action. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like we've recommended it to other people, but I think it's just not commonplace enough. For it doesn't. Like it doesn't to happen. Be. It doesn't impact people enough for people warranting warranting people to take action. Yeah, unless they've probably had something happen to them, and then they'll probably be like take that side of yeah. thing. And go, oh, okay, yeah. Maybe, maybe we should. Yeah, but it's something that you can use later in life, like in your forties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's, that's what, what I'm you saying. Get a knee injury can help. Reduced information and all that. Mm-hmm. But people don't, like the science wasn't there 
Like no one knows the benefits of stem cells. Like and then it's still it's still I don't I don't know if it's still um oh that I get I get updates um via email with new stuff that they figured out that it can be used towards and yeah. all this. But is it legal in a, in Australia to use it to use on your knees and stuff? Don't know. That's what I'm saying. Why is it still like why are they saying like why is it illegal in America? I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like if it's I, got so much benefits, I, why is it illegal? I think in America they're more worried about it becoming like a criminal enterprise. That's why you tax it. What tax? Yeah, it? then you make it legit. Instead of like people harvesting and that, you make it legit, and you go, "This is a real yeah. business." Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but like, like I heard there's some really good benefits with it. So, so what? The reason why I bought Steve, I, that wasn't even the main part that I want to talk about. Steve O, right? <laughs> And I guess the stem cells should have been the main part. The reason why I brought him up, he's a quite interesting. He's an interesting bloke, this Steve O, because he is collecting his piss with his missus what? for an upcoming prank. I don't know what it's for, but it's for an upcoming prank. But he also sent out a message to all his fans, male fans, that if you have a lot of pubes, come to this, come to this caravan. Bring your own clippers and shave your pubes off because I want to make a suit out of it. He's got to get all of people's pubes and make a suit out of it. <gasps> and it's going to take a Satch watch. Is it a Satch watch? What is it? Sasquatch. Sasquatch. He wants to make a suit. A Satch. What's this word? Say it. Sasquatch. Suit. Out of pubes. Do you know what a Sasquatch it'll be a, is? Um, it'll, like, it'll, be before, sax, yeah. it'll be a sack watch. <laughs> He's but, well, but like it's 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 outrageous, right? But it's at the same time I go, who thinks about this stuff? And what what an interesting man. He's a very interesting man. That is interesting. So I'm looking and at the developments of that. Yeah. Gross. I, I think he might need to get the stem cells injected into his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just <laughs> He told women Someone that they can't. wash that? The pubes? Yeah. Who? Who that sounds wash that? absolutely dis- it is disgusting. disgusting. But it's interesting. <laughs> like, I don't know why I'm interested. No. no. I, what's, do you like? Do you have a fascination with pubes? No, I have a fascination about? with how he's going to, how he's actually going to put mind, this together. How his how, mind works. Yeah, how he goes, he, like he was shaving his pubes one day and he goes, I want to make a Sasquatch suit out of this. Sasquatch. Sasquatch. <laughs> I want to make a Sasquatch shoot. It just first of all, me. you need to learn how to say. Uh, you need to learn how to say it. Come on, say it. You try. Come on. No. Come on. No, but I'll do what you do. To I know Archie. I can't say it, so I'm not Sass- saying it. Sass. Right? Sass. Quatch. Quatch. Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Oh, I thought you were gonna do the Joey thing. <laughs> no, no, go do it again. Sass. Sass. Quatch. Sasquatch. Sass. Sasquatch. Quatch. Sasquatch. Peanut butter. <laughs> that's, that's much. Wait, what does Joey say? I don't know. Doesn't don't he know. say... Uh, Remember oh, the Nutella remember. one? It goes N-U-T-E-L-L-A. And the mum goes, Nutella, peanut butter. <laughs> it's a funny scene. <laughs> um, any more um, um, topics or anything you want to discuss? Anything you want to... Bring up to the table. No. I was listening to the album of Asha called 87. Uh, I don't want to bloody was, uh, talk about I was asked to listen to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And how do I say I listen to it? Yeah. I really want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. You know what he's doing? Yeah. What? 8701, He's singing how do I the say? Uh, I, I, I think the book cover behind you is quite beautiful. <laughs> He's singing the lyrics of the song. How do no. I say when you're beautiful? When I can't take my eyes off you, <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong thing. The I want to use the right words to the wrong thing. The, 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 the wrong thing, Gaffner. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? And I think I just want to finish this. This will be the last... Fast and the Furious 9 is coming out. FF10 is already in 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 
The Rock is coming back for FF10, Fast and Furious 10 Saga. It, this one, FF9, they're in space. Enough. <laughs> Enough Wait, with the Fast and Furious. What? They're in space. They're gone to space. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough. I mean, <laughs> enough, man. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. It's, they're in space. They've got rocket ships. It's <laughs> They started. They started a quarter mile at a time. Now they're now they're, they're trying to they're trying to compete with Elon Musk. Oh, enough, that enough, is too please, funny. please. That's not. What Did you have you watched it? No, I haven't watched Fast it. Point? I watched FF9. Many. I, I, I wouldn't watch it. Uh, I want to see how bizarre this oh, gets. Oh man. 